now we are discussing a question where we has to construct the binary tree with the pre order and the in order now examiner can give us the post order and in order the procedure will be totally same but we must understand one thing in order is required for constructing the binary tree with the in order it can be the pre order or it can be the post order procedure will be the same now so first of all we are uh, discussing this question that it is saying that construct the tree with the following sequences of nodes so sequences of nodes are given and there are two sequences given one is the pre order and one is the in order now to construct the tree we should understand one phenomena let us suppose that we are having a normal uh, tree which is having the two children we know that this is a node which is a parent and the parent is having the left and the right child and if we talk about the pre order then the pre order sequence is first of all the parent will come and the parent here is the node then afterward we are having is the left child and the right child now if we talk about the in order so in the in order we are having the parent in between the left and right so here we are having the left then the parent then the right if we understand the phenomena behind this or the procedure then we talk about the in order we can see that the parent node is the node who is dividing the tree into two parts so here this is the left side of the tree this is the right side of the tree that means the middle node will be the parent if we talk about the in order and similarly if we see that the first node who is present here that is the parent and afterward we are having the left and right so by this particular order we are finding the parent and the child relation from the pre order and the in order and we must understand one thing in the pre order whosoever is the first person that is nothing but the parent and the in order we have to find out that parent what i am saying that we will done with the help of the solving this particular question and we are constructing the binary tree so first of all i am writing the pre order and in order expression so now these are the sequences which is the pre order and the in order we are going to find the pre order first of all and from that pre order we will mark that entry into the in order we know that the first node in the pre order is the parent so that means f is the parent here now we has to search where that f is in the in order we have found that f is here in the middle so here what that mean the left hand side of this portion is the left subtree and here on the right hand side we are having is the right subtree so there we have find out the left and the right subtree now we are going to match these left subtree and the right subtree into the pre order match we are having the e so e is matched here a so a is matched c c is matched k k is matched that means this particular portion is now the left subtree now matching the right subtree h matching d matching b matching g is matching so that means this portion is the right subtree that means we have successfully find out the root node or means the top parent node we have find out in the first procedure now we are going on the step 2 in the step 2 i am writing only the left subtree here for better understanding e a c k so that is the left subtree we have taken now we are going on the pre order in the pre order again in the left subtree the first person which is a will be the parent so here we has to search this parent out of the in order in the in order we have successfully found the a here so that means a is the parent in this left subtree and e is again the left child and c k is again the right child now is the time to cross verify the left and right here so matching the e e is matched here matching the c 
C is matched, K is matched. So here E is the left and CK, this one is the right. So they are again matched here. Now again I am writing the left and the right subtree. So here I am writing the left subtree E and the right subtree which is the CK. E is only the single node. Whenever we are having a single node, so there is no parent-child relation, that is the leaf node. So no problem, that means left hand side, it is resolved. Now talking about the right hand side, we are having CK. Out of C and K, who is the parent? Because two nodes are there, they cannot be together. One will be parent and one will be child. So to find out who is the parent, now go to the pre-order. In the pre-order, go to the right subtree. And the right subtree, we are having K is the first who is coming in the pre-order. That means in that case, K is the parent. So here K is the parent and C is becoming the child. So if K is the parent, then on the left hand side, we are having C. On the right hand side, we are having nothing because on the right hand side, there is nobody. Nobody is present. That means no right branch is available. I am writing C again as a left child for better understanding. So here we can create the left subtree very easily. So if we know that F was the main node. So if I connect the F with the A, A was the further parent. Now A is having a right child which is K. Now A was also having the left child which was the leaf node. So E was the leaf node. So it is connected with A. Now K is the parent of C and C is the leaf node. So this way we have successfully constructed the left subtree. Now we are going to complete the right subtree and construct it. Now I am writing the right subtree. The sequence I am writing, the sequence is H, D, B and G. So this is what we are writing. We have already matched this H, D, B, G above that this one is the right. Out of this right subtree, we want that which one is the parent. Now we know that in the pre-order, whosoever is the first node, that is the parent. So we are matching this node here. This node is the parent. That means this H will be the left and BG that will be the right. Now this is the time to match these entries with the pre-order. So if I match the H, so H is matched here, that means H is the left. If we talk about B, so B is matched. Now G, G is also matched. That means this B and G, this is the right. Now coming down, I am writing the H. For better understanding, I am writing into the new new lines. So the left child is only H. If there is only single child H, that is a leaf, no problem. Because there is no parent child relation, that is a single leaf, not a problem. Now talking about the right, right we are having B and G. Two nodes are there, problem. Because here one will be the parent and one will be the child. Now out of this B and G, we have to find out which one is the parent. Now go to the pre-order sequence. Into the pre-order sequence, go to the right part. And here we can see that G is coming first. And if G is coming first, then G is the parent. So mark the G here. And now talking about G, here we are having the left side, which is B. On the right side, we are having nothing. If we don't have nothing on the right hand side, that means there is no right child. I am writing the left child into the next line for the better understanding. So B is there. On the right hand side, we are having nothing. So now is the time to connect the right tree also. So F was the root and root was connected with the next parent, which is D. Now D is connected with the next parent, which is the G. And G is connected with the leaf node which is B and talking about D, D is also connected with the 
leaf node which is the edge so this is how we have constructed the tree from the in order and the pre order sequence so now this is the final tree which is constructed after removing all the unnecessary elements this is the final tree which is con constructed from the in order and the pre order sequence now one thing we should observe we have constructed a tree whether that tree is correct or not so in the rough we have to check also that is it the tree that we want so for checking purpose we have to find out the in order of this tree for the verification purpose we are finding the in order in the examination it is not required to find the in order but we are just verifying that the tree is correct or not so first of all we are taking the top tree we know that in the in order we have the parent in between the parent is the node this is left and this is right so left node and right so here we will write which is a f and d so this is how it will come afterward we are going on the left subtree here we are going to find out that this one is the node this is the left this is the right so in order left node right e a k so e a is already there k that will come now going on the right hand side of the tree so here we are having the node left and right now left node right h d g so h d g it is like this now going to the next tree here here we are having the node left child is there the right child is not present so right child is not there so what we are saying left node and right c k nothing so we are writing here c k and nothing now we are going on the right subtree here we are having the node then we are having the left but right is not there so right is blank in order that means left node and right b g so here we are writing the b g so this one is the in order sequence now we are going to match this in order sequence with the in order sequence given to us so we are having e e is matched a c k then a c k f h f h is matching d b g d b g so the in order sequence is matching that means the tree which we have constructed is the proper so this is how we can test the tree which we have constructed or this is how we can construct the binary tree from the pre order and the in order sequence